sixth dimension. Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under with the second part of YouTube as a job. Right, take it on more of a personal note. Now you guys know about the actual monetization process, and you do, if you haven't watched the first section, I really highly suggest that because that puts a lot of context to this one. But let's just get straight into it. Now my channel is a relatively small channel and that is mainly the problem. YouTubers, basically you need a really, really, really big fan base in order to go and live off it. I went and calculated that according to me, if I had, I'm on 26,000 subscribers right now. If I hit around 80 to 100,000 subscribers along the same ratio of subscribers to views per video because if you guys see it I'll hit maybe five to ten thousand views if I'm really really lucky on one video yet I have 25,000 subscribers you guys would be thinking oh that's pretty shit you city look at PewDiePie he gets around maybe 800,000 1 million views which is really high but he has 13 million subscribers his ratio the more bigger you get the ratio drops because YouTube sub boxes are pretty shit but in a general case, if I hit around 100,000 subscribers, I will get enough views to go and make a living off this. That's what I've gone and worked out. Now, my, you know, my per thousand views is fine. My viewer retention is fine. The people that have ad block is fine. It's only a very small amount. It's absolutely minuscule in my case. So thank you guys. Big high five to you all. But really, it, it doesn't really... It, it won't work if it, because I won't get to 100,000 subscribers on my channel. That's what I personally think. The combat I'm seeing for what I am known for is just too small. It is just too small to hit 100k subscribers. Now, there's one guy, and I've referenced him many times, Luke's. He's got 50k subs, but he's purely Brazil. And people that speak the language Portuguese listen to his videos and such. There's a kind of, you know, side scene that I can't go and tap into. There's nothing for me really here on YouTube, on this YouTube landscape for combat arms unless, unless YouTube, um, unless combat arms just skyrockets and more people play it. And, you know, the real, the real thing I'm waiting for is, to be perfectly honest, and I've been talking about this to myself and other people, is the whole ESL thing. If Combat Arms competitively takes off, then hopefully my channel could take off as a direct result of it. Now, honestly, I don't see that happening. I see Combat Arms as stagnating for the rest of its life. I'm not doing bad on the YouTube, but I'm never going to grow. I'm never going to get those spikes, as I've said in my last Q&A. So with that, it's very, 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 it's not viable for me to go and make YouTube my job because it just won't work. I had a dream it would, but in my honesty, it won't. It really, really, really won't. If I was playing another game, for example, Call of Duty, Battlefield, League of Legends, I based completely off that, my dream could still be there. Yes, there's a lot more people doing it, and yes, there would be a lot more people with more subscribers than me, but it let, at least there's a goal to go for. The goal for me for Combat Arms was to hit Backstar's level. Now I'm past him. I'm past his subscribers. Where do I go next? It just it just doesn't fit into the puzzle. However, that does not mean I'm going to stop doing YouTube. I absolutely enjoy this. I, I could say I love it because the way you guys respond to the topics with your own opinions and the fact is that making the videos is really enjoyable as well. The top five plays is such a great experience looking for all of the clips. Even though some weeks of like, oh my god, I gotta look through 50 entries, just seeing those 1v7 clutches, and I just, I'm just, I pause and I just look at the clip and I'm like, that was absolutely amazing. And those moments are fantastic. With the YouTubes I use, doing all those crazy setups, and having a really, really heck of a lot of fun. That's what YouTubes I use is. Same with Road the Master, really chill series. I just did QA, what I'm kind of doing now. All the series and stuff I do on my channel is really enjoyable. And if I didn't enjoy it, then I wouldn't do it. That's why I had my little hiatus halfway through last month. I just didn't make videos for two weeks, so I didn't find it enjoyable. Now I'm finding it enjoyable again, and I'm just going to keep doing it for as long as I find it enjoyable. That's my answer. And yeah, Tico Killer, I don't know. Job, pfft.
Probably not, but there we go. Bummer out, Thunder Cover Dudes, all the way from down under, out.